Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Spanish Med. Welcome if you're new and if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back again. If you are new, please do subscribe to my channel and join the family. And turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from me. I realize that I never do this thing where I say you're new. Oh, oh. I think I stopped after a while, but seriously guys, if you're new here, please do subscribe. And if you're not, thank you so much for coming back again. I really appreciate you guys. I know, I know, I know, I haven't been consistent. I know, I've just slacked off, guys. Let me tell you, life has me by the neck. Like, I am, oh, guys, uh -uh. like, I'm tired. Look at my eyes. I'm exhausted. And all I do these days is go to a come back and sleep. So, yeah, but I thought, you know, I need to get out of the spunk. I need to keep going even though, like, life is going on and life is busy and everything. So today I am taking you guys along with me in a day of my life as a doctor because that is what I do these days. I doctor. I am doctoring every day, all the day. Like, yeah, I don't want to say I'm tired of doctoring, but uh, <laughs> I am tired of something. <laughs> So, um, it's 5.30 in the morning. I just got out of bed and I came straight to the bathroom. I'm going to take a shower, um, brush my teeth, get clean, get dressed, you know, all that good stuff. And then we are going to go to work. discovered that Claire has soap bars and I've been living like they're amazing honestly look this one is black seed soap I also have the pink salt and sheer butter and I also have the black soap and sheer butter this is what I'm actually using on my face right now this one I use it more like when I want to have like a spa day when I'm tired from work like tomorrow when I get back from my 30 hour shift I'm definitely gonna use that it smells amazing and it just makes me feel so nice but uh, yeah for all of you that didn't know that clear has soaps i highly recommend that you go and try them so i have been on a go slow this morning it is now 6 15 actually 6 20 and the person that takes me to work is here so i have to leave that means i'm not gonna have breakfast at home but i will eat at work at some point during the morning so let's go to work and i will catch up with you guys when we arrive I just got to work and I have everything that is going to be on me in my pockets over here because my coat wasn't with me. I left my coat at work. So now I find my coat amongst this. Okay, here is mine. And now I put my coat on and fill my pockets. First of all, are there any new admissions, which obviously they usually are, and I check who they are so that by the time we start our morning round, I know all the patients in the ward. And then the next most important thing that I do is to check if the order of the patients that I ordered, like any labs, any radiologic investigations that were done when I wasn't there, I check the results and just basically to see how my patients are doing and updates from the time that I wasn't in the hospital. So I'm around, I know it 
getting the same with my patients. Neonatal ward, um, with shoes, and you're not supposed to cross the line. You leave your coat and your stethoscope and everything. You grab a coat. You grab shoes. It's the ones that I was wearing, so I'm gonna wear those. So I'm already wearing my coat. You wash your hands, and then you enter. Just finished round. So I just finished ward run, and for the first time ever, like it's 9:30, and we're done with our ward work, our notes, and everything. So we're off to eat. <laughs> the way we're excited! Oh my god. Time for breakfast. For breakfast, I'm having a chapati, liver and soup, and this fly is being rude. I'm having liver and soup, and eggs, and coffee, and chapati. Hey y'all, so it's around 4 p.m. now, it's almost 4, and essentially we finished our work, work around 10. We had breakfast, and then we had a few orders, like just following up some tea results, taking a patient for. <laughs> Taking a patient for urology review after the CT result for us, and then I had to trace uh, BT for that patient BT as a well transfusion. But I think that's all I've had to do today, which is such a huge like contrast in compare like in comparison with the other days where I literally finished writing meds for patients at lunchtime, and then I'm still trying to you know write notes, do ward work, and all that good stuff. So today's been a good day. And I have no admissions, like till now it's 4 p.m. and I haven't had a single admission. Oh, everything is wonderful, it is amazing. So it's 5.30, it's actually almost 6. I just did my evening round. Usually at around 5 p.m., between 5 and 6, I like to do a round by myself just to like check on the patients that they know that someone is there taking care of them. That, you know, it's like really bad when patients are admitted and then the only time they see the doctor is in the morning during the morning round and then the next day so i like to do like a round you know different times of the day so i usually go like after lunch and then around 5 p.m and then i'll go again around 9 p.m and then around midnight and then i'll see them in the morning around 6 in the morning um so yeah i just did my first evening round and then i came to change i realized that i didn't show you guys what i was wearing in the morning but i was literally just wearing jeans and a top um, a blouse so like that like half casual half formal type of vibes now i'm just wearing my scrub top this scrub top is from medtech uniforms um the quality is great um obviously got this customized got my name on it dr natalie caitlin um and i'm actually just wearing that with jeans and pumps i don't feel like wearing full scrubs today and while i'm here i might as well show you guys what's in my bag um, I have my little thing, my little uh, purse thing. What's it called? Like my toiletry bag, yes. Um, where I have my toothpaste, um, sanitary wear. I also have my glycerin from Clear, which I've been using. Um, I have a roll on my toothbrush, toothpaste, and then I have um, some hairpins, which I'm actually not using right now because my hair is braided. And so that stays in here. Um, I also have a spray and I have my perfume in this red bag and this uh, orange bag is where my blouse was that is where my blouse is that I was wearing earlier and then in here I have a packet of cookies my favorite which I will have later on as a midnight snack I also have my current fave which is my clear butter which I've been using like honestly guys this is amazing if you watch my Instagram stories you've probably already seen this before um, in one of my videos on Instagram but yeah this is really good because in the hospital I wash my hands a lot and so this keeps my hands and my skin moisturized because when I stay at the hospital overnight I have to shower so I use that um, and then I just have my purse my purse over here and my earphones and then I have a spare mask in case the one that I have breaks which it actually just broke right now um, so yeah and then over here I have my power bank and my phones my phone my hospital phone and I have my coat which I'm not currently wearing but in my coat I have my who um, pocketbook 
because I'm currently in pediatrics. I also have my hand sanitizer, absolutely bad. All you guys can see is like almost in half, so I need to get a new one and refill it. But I swear, I swear by this hand sanitizer. Let me just focus it. This hand sanitizer is amazing. I will show you guys the bigger container when I get home. But I love it, I love it, I love it. It, it doesn't feel like spirity. It feels very, like it leaves your hands feeling clean, but also it smells nice, so I like that. <laughs> and then I have a handkerchief in here. And in this side, uh, there's nothing right now. And guys, look how dirty my coat is. Like, what the hell? This coat is literally straight from the laundry today i don't understand why it is dirty like this right now like i really i am so tired one thing i am tired of like i kid you not is washing my coats like i have like five coats but i've only like been wearing two of them actually three but the other one i don't really wear so i like rotate like two and i am sick i am sick sick and tired of washing coats like they get dirty in the because isn't you always like leaning on the desk like this so they get really dirty in here and then the collar as well yo guys <laughs> like i'm tired i'm tired of hand washing if anyone wants to sponsor me and buy me a washing machine please feel free because my hands my knuckles you're tired um but anyway so currently i just came to the room that i want to be sleeping in hopefully if there's no admissions um because already the ward is full like <laughs> the ward is full and i don't know if they keep admitting patients i don't know where they want to put them um but yeah i'm hoping i can chill for a bit and then around 9 p.m i'll go down um to opd which is our patient department and see patients until around midnight and then after midnight i will come and do my last round and sleep and so today today has actually been a very nice one i don't want to lie today's been very nice because normally it is busy i have admissions on missions on missions so far i have no admissions and i'm praying to god that i don't have any admissions but anyway i've been doing it for not getting too long and i will catch up again so let me rest update your goal got cut by the cupboard and bled a lot like i have a scar like this now on my forehead something that i'm not very happy about because i actually like my face and i don't want any scars on it but anyway so i had to get a tetanus shot and then my arm was like numb and painful and i needed it to work so i also got a tramadol shot in my bum and so then i was like drowsy and dizzy <laughs> so i couldn't see any patients so i was like um you know I, I, I stepped away like for a while i just sat in the room but now i'm at opd it's 11 30 p.m i'm seeing patients or patients i think i'll be here until midnight and then i can dip um yeah and then i still don't have any ambitions oh today has been such a nice day today has been the best call literally of my life it has never happened that i don't have admissions never like since i started um to like wow but anyway um so so far i've seen like 10 patients in opd um yeah but otherwise things are good things are fine i have no complaints morning guys it is 5 30 on the dot um i woke up like 15 minutes ago freshened up and everything i am about to go and do my morning round and then I'm gonna get ready for one meeting and then we're gonna start the day and continue with the shift <laughs> until 30 hours is up and then I'm gonna go. So let's go and get the day started. It's 10 to 7. Morning meeting starts at 7. So I'm heading to the meeting area now and then I'll catch up with you guys after the morning meeting because obviously I've had to work um, during the Hey guys, so it is just after 12, it's almost 1 p.m. We did our ward round. We only had four patients in the ward because I discharged everyone the day before yesterday, actually yesterday. Um, and then we discharged three of the patients and then one of the patients is for surgery. So um, we're transferring them to surgery. So we literally have no patients left at <laughs> pediatrics. We have one baby downstairs who we're discharging in the evening as well. So. It's been a great call. Um, planning on going home now. Gonna take a shower, gonna eat, and gonna relax. And then I'm gonna sit down and answer you guys' questions. But yeah. 
The first thing I do when I get home is to sanitize my hands, obviously, and this is the sanitizer that I've been using from Clear as well. Um, this is amazing. It cleans, it protects, and it's for all skin types, obviously. Um, I honestly highly, 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 I highly recommend this hand sanitizer, and this is a huge container if you're on the go. And also, quick tip, if you want to make your own hand sanitizer, all you need is glycerine and spirit and you're good to go. I know some of you aren't keen on like products that have been manufactured and all that. Literally, you can make your own. Just have some glycerine, um, which Claire does have, and then you can buy some methylated spirit and you've got your own hand sanitizer. So I am home now. It is around 3 p.m. And I essentially am done um, with work until tomorrow. So tomorrow morning at 7 p.m. at 7 a.m. I'm expected to be back at work again. And then the next day I'm on a 30 shift, 30 hour shift again. So it's kind of crazy. Um, well, I'm not too tired today um, because obviously I had no admissions. I had only four patients in the ward, but the call before this one was crazy. And I'm sure that the next one will also be crazy because obviously there'll be new patients in the ward. And, you know, but um, that just goes to show how unpredictable life in the hospital is. Like there's going to be days where like you literally sit and do nothing. And then there's days where you don't even get to have lunch, you don't eat anything and you literally feel like you're about to faint. Um, but anyway, um, I got a few questions after like I posted my stories all the time and I think I want to answer them now because I feel like you guys took the time to answer those questions because I asked you to ask them and then I just don't reply. I feel like that's kind of rude. So um, someone asked me what's the difference between where I am and NRH in terms of experience. So those of you that don't know, NRH is where I did my final year rotations in Francistown, Botswana. Um, it's a government hospital. So first of all, um, the big difference in those two places is the fact that number one, one is a private hospital and then the other one is a government hospital. So um, when I was in Francis Town, like I used to put myself out there, like I made sure that I got a chance to do procedures. It got to a point where I would actually see patients by myself um, because the doctors trusted me enough that like I was competent enough. I learned how to do like all the basics like cannulation and all that good stuff so that I'm not like now that doctor that doesn't know how to put a cannula or take blood or do stuff. Um, and so obviously like difficult things like intubation, I, like, I wasn't interested, how can you be able to intubate but you can't even withdraw blood. So this year however is when I've like mastered those skills. Like I can intubate, now I do spinal, for anesthesia and all that good stuff. But the main difference is that um, here they are not as strict as in NRH. In NRH you were kind of like forced to like know stuff, they ask you a lot of questions, they put you on the spot. Here it's more like if you want to learn, you will learn. Like if you put yourself out there, they will teach you. If you don't, they're gonna leave you, but they're not gonna like you as well. <laughs> um, and also I feel like Things are more proper here because there's actually a structure. It's a private hospital. Things have to be done properly. Whereas where I was, um, that you could literally just get away with anything and you would do anything. Like we used to do evacuations in like a procedure room. We didn't use anesthesia. We just used to give the patients pethidine IV, like hundred, just push it. Now here, if you're heard telling, talking about pushing hundred IV pethidine, like they will swallow you we do evacuations under general anesthesia you know it's things like that um things are like more proper like and structured and there's more supervision so you're less likely to like make stupid mistakes um whereas there you are just doing things but you don't have like someone supporting you you're just working and working um to no end um also in terms of internship experience i feel like here they're more focused on learning like they push you to learn they don't care that um you know work hasn't been done obviously they care but like that's not their main concern their main concern is that you know stuff um whereas there the main concern was is the work done or not the patients there's 25 patients that haven't been seen go and see them whereas here is we don't care that there's 25 patients they're gonna wait you come and learn how to do this you know things like that so it's those little things that make it a better experience for me here um and also the fact that there's more specialists so there's better uh, trained people to teach you we have specialists super specialists super super specialists you name it 
and all that um, any advice for a future med student also international so what you want to do is definitely make sure that you know the curriculum of where you're going and back home and compare and don't just get comfortable doing the things that they do where you're studying and forget about back home because when you get back home you're gonna struggle you're gonna struggle to bridge the gap between where you stayed and where you are and that's I think the biggest thing for me that helped me shape into the doctor that I am today the doctor that I'm becoming in the future um, is that I took that chance I always made sure that I was you know I was learning but I was also focused on what I was going on back home or where I essentially wanted to work which was for me Africa and I made it a point that I was going to come back I always see a lot of people that study in China study in Russia they come back after their six years they're like oh I wish I had studied there no you were there and you focused on passing your exams in China and Russia so you may you, you felt like you were doing well but then when you came back to reality you realized that oh my gosh I might not be as competent as I thought I was because things are different um, um, at China there's a certain level that they expect you to be and then you continue studying and then you learn the things whereas back home when you come back as a graduate they expect you to know A, B, C and D and you don't know that because you didn't do that back there so it's things like that you need to make sure that you're always like on top of your game where you are but also be aware of what's going on back home if you can take breaks and come back home and study and like do practice in the hospital do that Oh, guys, I'm so sorry about my forehead. Like, I know it might be distracting, but I can't remove it because then you're gonna see like, uh, like blood, and I don't want um, those of you that are like scared of blood and all that to freak out. Um, how do I avoid being burnt out with such a schedule? Honestly, I don't. I've reached a point where I'm just tired all the time. Like, I have chronic bags under my eyes. Um, but one thing is like mindset is everything. I wake myself up every day and I'm grateful for the opportunity to be where I am. I'm learning a lot and I know that next year at this time, I'm going to be a much different doctor than I am today. Um, like, you have to keep going. I. <laughs> You have to keep going. You just there's no there's no way. I'm obviously some things I've had to take take a break, like take take a back seat. Like my YouTube is slacking, my social media is slacking. Um, but I'm trying to like maintain things. My my flourish is slacking, but I'm still like fresh into this new schedule, and I'm figuring it out. And you guys know me, productivity queen. I will come back with a routine, and things will work out by five by four. Um, but it's also important that when I can, I just take a break. Like when I get home, and I know I'm really tired, I'm not gonna force myself to study. I'm not gonna force myself to edit a video. I'm just gonna sleep and rest because I have to listen to my body, right? Um, so how do I deal with exhaustion and lack of motivation? This is something that you just have to have discipline. Discipline is everything, you guys. If you have discipline, you're not going to find yourself lacking um, motivation much. You're going to be tired, but you're going to keep going because you know that uh, you're not yet where you want to be. But at the same time, it's important not to overwork yourself because there's a difference between being productive and being busy. You want to be productive, not just busy. Um, someone asked if this was intentional or if there's a scheduling issue. It wasn't intentional. There's a scheduling issue in the sense that we were five in the beginning of our rotation and two of the people that were in my group left, so that left us with three interns um, and they can't like bring interns from somewhere to come and join us. So we were stuck as three and so throughout my pediatrics rotation we're going to be rotating as three so I'm going to call every two days for the next two months. Um, do you think that they're overworking you to the point of doing more harm than good? I feel like it depends. There's days where I really feel like, okay, these guys are really inconsiderate. Um, but then there's days where, honestly, things are chilled. Like today, like the call that I had was so chilled. Like by between literally like 2 p.m. and 9 p.m., I was bored out of my mind. I just thought I had to go and sleep. <laughs> and then I actually did go to sleep at like midnight. And one of my seniors came and asked me like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm sleeping. <laughs> but um, yeah, so at least there's a balance. There's good days and there's bad days. So it's not too bad. Um, uh, how After the 30 hour shift, how much rest do I get? So like I said, when I get home, I have the rest of the day, like from 3 p.m. I have the rest of the day, and then I have to be at work again at 6 a.m. the next day. So that's all the rest I get. Um, and then Sundays, if I'm lucky to, if I'm on call on a Friday, that means I'm, I'm post on Saturday, and Sunday I don't have to work. But if I'm on call on Saturday, that means Sunday I'm at work. If I'm on call on Sunday, that means I have to be at work. So if I'm lucky enough that my call calls on a Friday, I also don't get to be at work on a Sunday, um, because we have Sundays off. But if you were scheduled to work on Sunday, then you don't get it. 
Um, do you ever get homesick? If so, how do you manage this at all? I do get homesick in the sense that I miss my family, but in terms of like missing home, home, and nah, I, I think I've moved around too much to the point where I like everywhere I go, I make it a point to get settled and I learn the language, so I don't feel like so out of place. But I do obviously always miss my family. Um, how do you manage your thirty-hour call? Snacks, entertainment. Um, and a clear mind if you go to work stressed you're not going to do anything honestly like so I always make sure that I have my biscuits um, something to keep me entertained and I always find like people that I like hanging luckily for me I do like most of like the registrars that are there so I always just like go and hang out with them and time just passes by um, do you get free time in your profession Obviously not. I think it's not, it's not a secret that medicine is demanding and that we don't have as much freedom as we would like. But you have to make the time. You 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 are the one who decides that you, like you're going to be a slave to medicine, or you're going to have a life outside of medicine. And I choose to have a life outside of medicine. I know it might not look like it on my social media. I post a lot of medicine, but when I'm not at the hospital, I literally detach. Sometimes I will like literally switch my phone off and just focus on me and my mental health and everything. So I think that was most of the questions that I've got. Um, I will do more Q&As for you guys if you want. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was my 30 hour shift. This was a very nice shift. Um, obviously, you guys have seen me when I'm on a busy shift like the time that I dropped in an ambulance and gone somewhere. Um, but yeah, um, I will definitely keep vlogging for you guys and showing you guys my life in and out of the hospital so you can get like a good balance of like the good, the bad and all the other vibes that we have. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications so that you never miss a video from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't ever wanna